Greetings, greetings, good evening, Gertrude and me out here. I can't wait to introduce you to Rosemary. Gertrude's getting a sister. <laughs> so I was looking up, um, just reading some stuff about the SSRIs, the antidepressants that people have been taking now for 40 years, 35, 40 years. September 2022, Newsweek has a cover story stating that antidepressants, the SSRIs, do not work. Their effectiveness is exactly the same as placebo, almost to a hundredth of a percent, exactly the same. And here's the thing that's interesting, no one cared. Didn't reduce sales, it didn't slow use. In fact, use kept that that massive buildup that was happening. And so my question is this, do we care about, if we're feeling better and it ain't really helping what we're doing, but we're feeling better doing it anyway, is that a good thing? And, and it's amazing how habit becomes a thing because I had someone tell me how great their antidepressants work. Now, I've known this person their whole life, my whole life. They're older than me. And they've always been at least 100 pounds overweight, 75 to 100 pounds overweight. Their spouse has serious depression and weight issues. Their kids, both 75 to 100 pounds overweight as adults. And I'm thinking, if this is your version of success with your medication for your mental health, this is a problem. But then, is that my problem? If they think they're feeling better, whose fault is it? Where do we blame, lay the blame if someone's not actually getting better, but they're parting with masses of money and people are just bilking them out of dough? I, I don't know. Is it better just to say, as long as you think it's working, keep doing it? Because the one cure we know that actually is a cure for depression, is it won't, it won't end it because the cure is perpetual. You have to keep doing it. It's like, it's like uh, going to the bathroom. You go once, I mean, you're done with it. It's gonna happen again. <laughs> Curing depression, the cure, the, the functionality is exercise. It's the one thing that has 100% effectiveness. You always feel better when you start working out. There's no choice in it. Your mind can't help but help you feel better. So I recommend that. I, I always tell people, you know, what Tony Robbins, try to echo him, get off, get with your, your physician, get off the antidepressants. But the big thing is just get moving. If you're taking your SSRIs, awesome. If you think they're helping, awesome. Get moving. And you've got to move to have a better life. Um, I wish you greatness. I wish you a great life. Know that you're worth fighting for. Um, my, my, my limited effectiveness is falling a little bit, who, I, who I'm actually reaching. And, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. A lot of stuff's changing in my world, and I'm okay with the changes. So I wish you the best. I wish you a lovely life, a lovely day, a lovely evening. And it's Utah. It's such a beautiful night tonight. The mountains are stunning. Look at that. I get my ugly mug out of there. Oh, my gosh. So beautiful out here. Come to Utah and visit because you won't be sorry. Bryce Canyon, amazing. See ya.